So this is attempt number one at adding a new dish to the Vietnamese lexicon. So to adding something to the culture. I call it bún heo satay thom, pork noodles with fragrant satay. That's what I'm going with. Let me show you how I did it. So our satay is gonna shallots, 33 grams. Garlic, 10 grams. And some chilies, 80 grams. This is fresh whole kumquats, or a calamansi, that's 25 grams. This pandan leaf, about five grams. This is about one leaf. Some oil, 215 grams. Sugar, 25 grams. Fish sauce, 40 grams, and MSG. Two grams. Okay, and we're gonna fry this until the pandan leaves are toasted. I have a uh, large piece of pork trotter that I've been boiling for about an hour, and I'm just gonna put this in an ice bath. To the pork stock, I'm gonna add a piece of pineapple and get this back on the stove. So I'm gonna take this pandan leaf, just cut this in smaller pieces. I'm gonna throw this right in the soup. Now the chilies are starting to get a little toasty. The, the pandan leaves are starting to get a little toasty. I'm gonna add 20 grams of lemongrass, bashed up a little bit. So, whoa, it's getting a little dark in here. So everything got really toasty and dark in here. I just changed the pans because I didn't want it to burn. I'm adding in another five grams of pandan leaf and we'll let everything cool down in here. And once this cools, I'm gonna remove all the aromatics. This pork shank is cooled enough to touch now, and I'm gonna just try to remove the skin. Okay, so now with the skin, I'm gonna try to remove uh, most of the fat. I'm gonna take the trim skin and now I'm just gonna cut it into thin strips. As thin as I can. The pork shank I'm gonna just try to remove from the bone. I'm gonna take whatever's left on the bone and throw it back in the soup. And the meat that I trimmed off, I'm just gonna cut it as thin as I can. All right, let's get started on the vegetable. For the vegetable, I'm gonna shred up some cabbage. And I'm gonna cut this like I would ramon. And I also have some back hat or elephant in here too. I'm gonna season this soup with fish sauce, MSG, some salt. So the side plate is gonna be shredded cabbage, this shredded water celery, and this thinly cut back hat or elephant ear. Or I forget what they call it in the north. And some lime. I don't have much cilantro left, but let's pretend that's a lot of cilantro and some Thai basil as well. For example, I have some large uh, bun rice noodle that's already been blanched. Some sliced onion, good amount. Some chopped cilantro, Thai basil, and raw rum. I have two kinds of uh, jia, this pork sausage. This one is a grilled style, and this one is steamed. And then I have the sliced pork shank, some of the sliced pork skin. And let's get the broth.
you may see that this is reminiscent of bun mop, which is like a pork heavy dish, and obviously this is quite pork heavy. And right now the broth is subtle and light. Actually, it's pretty damn good. The whole idea of this soup is this satay right here. So let's transform this broth. Immediately, this becomes a totally different soup. Now it's spicy and aromatic. That is spicy. One more. Dead the veg. Lime, some of this back half. I love this vegetable. Cabbage, and some uh, water celery. Originally, I wanted to just do water spinach, but they didn't have it today at the market, so I figured let's try this and see how it works out. I've never seen anyone cut it this style, so I think that's cool. I was debating about maybe putting some uh, mom tom or mom rook inside. I don't have any mom rook, but I do have mom tom, so I'll taste it. I might add that. Mm. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of mom thong and see if that, if I like that direction. See if I'm able to get a little out of here. Boo, boo, okay. It needs a little bit more fish sauce. Mm. Mm. It's a little spicy. <sighs> wow, it's got some heat. Now, I mean, this is definitely not, uh, I mean, I don't know if you call this Vietnamese food or not. It's not traditional. I've definitely never seen anyone make this, but if I saw this on the street, it would fit right in. I think it's pretty darn good. I know if I sold this on the street, people would like it and people would buy it. I'm just trying to think what I would, how could I make this better? What I would do differently? This one, uh, this grilled sausage has like a little bit of cinnamon inside of it. And that actually goes nicely. Maybe I would either spice up the broth a little bit more with some aromatic spices or put that in the satay. I'm not sure. I would like a little bit more complexity in the and the aromatics, I guess. So I'll try it again. The shredded cabbage is good. I like this. I like the back hat. That's really good in there. The water celery, shredded like that, is really good too. I don't know if I prefer it over water spinach, but it's pretty good. I was trying to find bitter vegetable today, but they didn't have that at the market either today. So I may try it with that. I'll dig it. Yeah, it's good. The toasted aroma from the chili is nice. Put more in, let's see what happens. I know that if I sold this on the street, people would dig it and they would buy it. I wouldn't say to me it's a completed dish. I know it's delicious, but I don't think I wanna put my name on it yet, or I definitely wanna make this a few more times before I really submit it to the uh, to the cuisine. This definitely has a lot of potential. I wish I had some mom roof to add to this. I don't have any. I think that would go well. Oh man, this <coughs> it's building. Woo! This is not a broth that I'm gonna pick up and drink, I'll tell you that. Okay, never mind, I like it. All right, there you go. Bunheo Satay Tom, version one.